Hart Street's been going for 61 years and it was really started by volunteers and we're a work of the Daughters of Charity and they basically worked with people who were sleeping rough and provided, I guess, some sustenance to the men and they used to line up down a back alley at the back of Hutt Street and the sisters used to provide jars of tea and sandwiches and the men would go to the parklands. We couldn't do the work we do without the volunteers. The sisters have always worked with volunteers, always. Our volunteers are really dedicated. They're here because they believe in the cause and believe in, they believe in helping people um, who really need it. The best thing that's happened to me since I've been here is my certificate for community services work that I've done. I'm just waiting for the certificate to be sent out. My volunteer's name, Christy, put me, f oh, I put her through it <laughs> at times, but yeah, her, she, she made all the difference to me in the tutoring and turning up. And yeah, it's just made all the difference to my education and my outlook on a lot of things. <laughs> it means the world to me. Whether it's volunteering in the meal centre or volunteering in the day centre, I think just being able to chat to our clients, getting to know their life story, and just you know being able to say hello to someone where the rest of society might do everything to avoid them. Sam found me a teacher to teach me how to write better. And I've been with that lady for quite some time. I am very happy that she gave me the confidence. She found out that I was not a good talker. And every time I see her, we, we had a long talk and, and she was happy with me because I put out everything that I didn't know how to bring it out. And it was good for me. Because for some people when they come through, whether they're coming in to the day centre and getting a towel and some soaps, the volunteer's there to say hello. And when they walk in, clients walk in for a meal, and sometimes that's the only chance they get to have a meal for the day. And sometimes the only chance they have a conversation for the day with someone, and that's often shared with the volunteer. They play that really special role at Hutt Street. They're very necessary here, really, because Whilst there's quite a few staff, a lot of the staff are involved in social work, whereas volunteers tend to do a lot of the day-to-day -day work, like in the shop and um, behind in the day centres there, and also, especially here in the kitchen. Yeah, we have to prepare about 200 meals a day, starting with breakfast. It is very unpredictable. It is very hectic, and kitchen area would not exist without volunteers. One good thing is they are all here for one purpose to help people. I think the Hutt Street Centre without the large number of volunteers that we have here would be like a service without its heart really because the volunteers give so freely of their time, they don't judge our clients at all and they bring a lot of fun and difference. It makes us an incredibly diverse organisation. They are invaluable and that we wouldn't be able to give the quality of service that we do without them. We want to thank you for all the work that you put into Hutt Street Centre. You make the, the lives better for our clients. I think the message I'd send to our volunteers is thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'd want them to know that they are so appreciated. To describe the volunteers at Hutt Street Centre in one word, I would use... Amazing. 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 True. Incredible. <laughs> Necessary. Very generous. Loyal. They're just wonderful. Volunteers are the lifeblood of Hot Street Centre. It's just pure and simple. Volunteers are everything. And without them, the place couldn't keep going, that's for sure.